Okay, uh, we will discuss about balanced cost based selection method for system for construction tenders. Uh, I am Dr. T. M. Soni, former additional DGC tender method leader. We know that generally when we call tenders or bids for construction, whether it is for procurement of supplies, services, or works. Then these are based on the systems, what we called least cost selection system, LCS, or QBS, quality based selection, or quality cum cost based selection. Now, these all system or selection evolution criteria, they have different system and uh, they have their limitations also. But uh, as we know that in LCS or least cost selection method, this is criticized badly and uh, this is due to the reason that quality uh, is, a, is, is at a stake in case of LCS system. We know that financial bids are invited in this case. And some of the organizations, they invite financial bids from the enlisted bidders. And these uh, bidders are enlisted in the organization, particular organizations. And there are some organizations which adopt the enlistment of some major organization. Or sometimes what happens that financial bids are invited along with technical bids. Then technical bids are opened first and they are evaluated first. And these technical bids have some pre-qualification criteria. And uh, these bids are invited in two bid system. First is called technical bid system or two envelope system. In first envelope technical bid is capped and in second envelope well, financial bid is capped then only uh, the bids which have qualified technically their financial bids are open and whosoever is the lowest that is awarded or uh, that bid is accepted uh, now evaluation is based on the tender conditions in two bid system also and major thing is that lowest bid or least cost bid is accepted. In two bid system, only advantage is there that the the uh, criteria is evaluated based on the documents received. Sometimes even uh, these this uh, this can be this can be this can include the inspection of the ongoing or completed works also. Uh, but in financial bids, uh, only when in LCS method it is really seen that competitors quote very low rates and its quality is always at stake. And this is being discussed and this has been discussed at many forums where a uh, few experts they say that this should not be accepted because uh, we must ensure the quality. Uh, and uh, there, there are some organizations which uh, have started taking additional PG performance guarantee. If someone is quoting low rates, suppose 10% rates have been quoted below estimated cost put to tender, then additional PG of 10% will be asked or even more than 10% will be asked from the contractor. And if the contractor has already quoted low rates and we are asking further PG, then there is every likely that either he will again go for the lower quality or may, may engage in some unethical conditions. Uh, therefore, uh, this LCS uh, is uh, to be revised or it is considered that it should be revised. Uh, then there is a quality based selection and we know that in this one only quality is the criteria. So then uh, first technical bids will be coming and will be evaluating the quality. And then financial will not be open once uh, we have 
evaluated the quality or performance of the bidders and whosoever can score maximum marks is uh, or their bid will be bid will be open or their tender will be open tender means financial bid will be open and he will get the work now uh, the uh, limitation of this quality based selection method is that though we say that it is that it will ensure the quality but let me tell you that it is not that uh, the, there is nothing that it is the guarantee that the quality will be ensured and then chances of favorism is there uh, or manipulation is there which cannot be ruled out because uh, there will be a committee who, and uh, the presentation will be made or the contractor will not uh, submit the details of the work which uh, is not the best or uh, the, uh, which really he has done uh, substandard work or work is not up to the mark then uh, naturally the evaluation base will be based on the best work done by the contractor so both ways it's not only the favorism from the uh, employer side but also there may be misrepresentation of uh, the performance by the contractor you know? and then uh, fair competitiveness principle is getting affected uh, so so that uh, though it is a better system for the quality and certainly better than lcs uh, then uh, this this because of this limitation this is uh, will be seen whether the employer wants to go for qps then third system is quality cum cost based selection method or qcbs in this one uh, idea is to uh, consider both quality as well as financial criteria financial bid so partly it is based on technical bid so so a weightage will be given higher weightage will be given say 70 to 80 percent weightage to the quality and 20 to 30 percent weightage to financial code first technical bids will be evaluated again there may be a committee or <coughs> committee will be evaluating the technical bid and they will be giving the scores then uh, then the financial bid whosoever has supported the lowest rate that will be with this, with respect to that other uh, bids will be evaluated and whosoever has scored maximum marks will be considered or his bid will be considered for the acceptance so this is basically quality cum cost based selection criteria or method this we are uh, this these three methods we are always uh, already known and uh, the next system may be balanced cost selection method or system this is basically i am presenting here this system basically is improvement over LCS and not on QCBS or QBS. In this system, average cost will be evaluated first by taking average of the bid values received uh, uh, from the bidders, from the bidders in themselves, and the estimated cost put to tender will also be considered. So average uh, will be worked out based on the bid, bids received and estimated cost put to tender. And once we know the average cost or average value, then this will be uh, compared with the weights and whosoever has uh, quoted the uh, bid nearest to this uh, average value that will be considered balanced cost. And this may be plus on plus side or on minus side of uh, the average value. Uh, then the zero value bids will not be consider, considered because or uh, incomplete bids will not be considered and not, will not be included in the value. Now thus the balance cost is a cost which is neither least uh, cost nor the highest cost. This is the average cost. It means indirectly it considers the quality also and it is not based only on least cost. So it is uh, it is observed that this is close to to the QCBS system. Uh, though, though, though no bits have been invited on this. This is uh, I'm presenting the first time. What I thought. 
Now, uh, since uh, uh, balance cost depends upon the financial costs of the bidders, so the employer cannot do favor to any bidder because uh, the employer is not uh, knowing the bids of all the all the bidders. So this is a balanced cost selection method. Now let us take a few examples. For example, suppose the bids received are rupees 100, 105, 108, 110, and 120, and the estimated cost put to tender by the employer is 115. Then the average will be value of the bid will be 109.66. Therefore, the balanced bid will be considered for the acceptance will be 110. Now, the, this bid of uh, this bid of 110 is not the lowest and not the highest, and this is quite close to the estimated cost put to tender, that is 4.34 percent only below compared to 13.04 uh, percent below estimated cost put to tender in case of LCS. So, this uh, gives quite reasonable or quite comparable cost, uh, reasonable cost. Now suppose there are only three bits received as 100, 125, 175, where the difference is quite a bit, quite a lot. And suppose estimate cost worked out by the employer is 150, then the average value will be 137.5, the balance bid will be 125. So balance, balance bid cost will be 16.67% below compared to 33.3% below the case of us. So even if there is a wide gap between the bidders, which is not visible in case of competitive bidding, then also it gives quite reasonable cost. Now, suppose uh, only two bids are received as 100, 120, where the difference is quite large, 20 percent, and while the estimate cost for two tender is 125, further uh, more than the two bids, then the average will be 115, then the balanced bid will be 120. Uh, considered for the acceptance of award of the work, which is just 4% below estimated cost put to tender compared to 20% below if we go the LCS. Another example we can take, suppose 5 bits are received as 100, 110, 112, 15, 115 and 159. Suppose one bid value is very large while the estimate cost put to tender is 120. Then the average will be 119.33. And balance bid to be accepted will be 115. So balance bid is only 0.25 percent below estimated cost put to tender. So it is uh, quite uh, reasonable. Uh, and then uh, in LCS we know that this is only this is 16.67 percent below, while the highest bid was 159. So that has also been uh not not uh, in fact has has come into the criteria of the acceptance uh, which is very high and also which is very low that has not come so this uh, uh, balanced cost selection method is presented here uh this the estimated cost to put to tender is has been included in the evaluation process just to keep a balance in case only few bids are received, suppose two or three bids, bids are received, then uh, it is better. It is also assumed that the bids are competitive without any cartelization. So, so, so basically, this is quite good where online tendering is done. It is assumed that single bid may or may not be competitive, and single bid is to be treated based on the estimated cost put to tender by the employer. Uh, it is observed that in case of uh, this PCS, the rates are close to the estimated cost put to tender and are competitive based on the market rates. Uh, so basically, this has been presented uh, another method, uh, which is another method over LCS, QBS, and QCBS. So this can also be considered along with already existing uh, 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 methods. Um, Thank you very much. I am Dr. K. M. Spinney, additional lazy retired with PWD. And you can see me at, uh, at the rate question number. Thanks a lot.